hi friends welcome back to echo designs to fit youtube channel if you are stumbling over my channel for the very first time you are welcome if you have been a returning viewer you are also welcome now you guys today's tutorial you can see what i have on top of my table this is a bustier gown which I, I have just finished making now is left for me to fix in the roll collar so in this very tutorial i'm going to be sharing with you guys how to cut and sew in your roll collar it is very simple and if this is what you are interested in learning stay tuned until the end of this tutorial now you are stumbling upon my channel for the very first time my name is chiwendo and please you may consider hitting on the subscribe button to join this beautiful family all right so without further ado let's dive right into this tutorial now i have my neckline already turned out with my lining but you can see that the neckline wasn't turned can you see i just stopped stitched on top now for this neckline i have the width to be four inches and the depth 3.5 inches so for the front neckline i have it to be three Point five inches by four inches and then for the back the back is a v neckline okay it is usually very important that you use a v neckline for the back when you are fixing in a roll collar okay so you can see what i have right at the back this is my zipper allowance okay so here is my zipper allowance and this is what i have can you see now what i'm going to do is to measure around the neckline okay so this is the zipper allowance i'm going to push in the zipper allowance and then start to measure around the neckline so guys you can see after i was done what i have right here is 27.25 inches so now i'm going to go ahead and bring in the fabric i'm going to be using for this very row color so here is my fabric here is my fabric so now what i'm going to do is to go ahead and fold this in a triangular form like folding on bias okay so you can see i folded on bias and to fold on bias you just have to fold it in a triangular form so let me repeat this so that you guys can see so this is my squared fabric i'm going to go ahead and fold just like this okay so you can see i've folded in a triangular form and the next thing i'm going to do is to fold it again just like this so here i have the folded parts okay so now the next thing i'm going to do is to go ahead and divide this 27.25 inches by two so 27.25 divided by two i'm going to be having 13.6 okay so what i'm going to do now is to first of all determine the height of this my row collar so you can make use of three inches four inches five inches it depends on how you want the row collar to fold okay that is how you want it to come out but for this very tutorial i'm going to be making use of 4.5 inches okay so i'll go ahead from this part and mark 4.5 inches just like this okay so i will stop somewhere around here i will go ahead and then measure these 13.65 inches okay so i'm going to be using 13.75 inches because that is the closest to this 13.65 so now you can see what i have and the next step i'm going to take is go ahead and connect it just like this okay can you see 
and now i will go ahead and cut this out so guys after i cut this out this is what i have and you guys see so now what i'm going to do next is to go over to my ironing table and i'm going to be fusing in this stay this is an interface but this is a cutting interface hair stay so that is what i'm going to use to fuse into the wrong part of this fabric okay so i will go right to my ironing table right now open it up like this and then iron this into the wrong part of the fabric okay so i'll go and do it and then come back for us to continue so guys i am done fusing in the hair stay can you see this is the wrong part and this is the good part okay so now what i'm going to do next is to go over to my sewing machine okay so i'll sew this part using half an inch and also this part all right and then turn it over to the good part and then i'll come back here to show you guys the next step to take so guys i am done turning the sides i see and also turned it over to the good parts so you can see this is the inside and then this is the actual side so i'm going to go ahead right now and fold it into two and then notch the center now the center now open it up and then i'm going to bring in my dress fold it like this and also notch the center now to sew this i'm going to sew from the inside okay so locate the middle where you just notched this is the middle and then this is the middle of the collar now i'm going to place it this way and then ensure that it aligns properly well and then i'm going to go sew this using half an inch and you see i'm going to go so and then stop right here you can see that it stopped just immediately before the zip allowance okay can you see so this is my zipper allowance and then once i am done with this side i'm going to repeat the same thing to the other side and once i am done sewing this i'm going to come show you guys what we have okay so guys i am done with this i am done fixing the road color and this is what it looks like okay so you can see that i've gone ahead to top stitch can you see okay so the seam allowance i've actually top stitched it so guys this is what i have right at the back can you see the back i'll go now and fix the zip and i'll put it on the mannequin for you guys to see all right so guys um this will be the end of this tutorial if you enjoy this tutorial please do make sure to give this video a thumbs up don't forget to share this particular tutorial so that more people can get to see it. you guys i'll definitely see you in my next one bye